Hey, real estate agents. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can use your ChatGPT to post your newest listing to all of your social media channels for you with basically just a click of a button. So the way it's going to work is let's say you just listed a new property. All you're going to do is you're going to take the URL of your new property for this one. I'm just going to use this property as an example. Um, and this can be, you know, on realtor.ca, realtor.com, Zillow, your own website, wherever website you want to get your listing off of. All you have to do is just post it to your ChatGPT assistant and tell it that you want it to post all your social media channels and then it's going to post it that way. So I'm going to show you an example really quick and then we're going to go into the breakdown of how it all works. So like I said, we're going to use this listing. This is just a, a random listing. We're going to use that as the example. Um, so let's say I just listed this. I'm going to copy the URL up top and then all I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my custom GPT that I created. So this is the custom real estate assistant that I created for myself. And I do have a video, a couple videos back showing how to set one of these up. Um, and then I'm just gonna say, hey, post my newest listing to my social channels. And I'm just gonna give it the link. And then you're going to see it's starting action. So this is an action that I programmed in the back end of this assistant, which I'll show you in a sec. It's going to ask for permission. We're just going to say allow. And then it says your newest listing has been successfully posted. So let's go check. So this is my Facebook business page. We're just going to use this as an example. You can see this is my last post here. Um, it's not a real estate post. We're going to refresh the page and boom. So we got new listing alert, check out this stunning property located at 2436, blah, blah, blah. It has a link to the page, some hashtags for SEO purposes. So basically all I've done is I've created a automation in the backend in make.com that takes the link, it takes the images out of that link, and then it uses OpenAI uh, ChatGPT to create a nice description for that post. So that's the Instagram one. You'll see it also posts to my LinkedIn. If I refresh this page, go back to my posts. Here it is here, same thing. And then if I go to my Instagram, you can see there's no post there. Now I'll refresh it and it's right here. And obviously with some prompt engineering, you can change this description if you want it to be you know, more professional or more casual or space down in different paragraphs, whatever you want. Um, but yeah, shows you how, how easy that would be every time you have a new listing, you can just tell it to post it to all your social media channels. So how does this all work? Well, basically, if we go into our custom GPTs that we created, this is the one that I created that I use in my business. So what's happening here? So if we look in the back end of this custom GPT that we created. Um, we have different actions, which I've gone over in my last video about setting this all up. But one of the actions that we created was for posting to our, originally it was just posting to Facebook, but then we expanded it to all of our social media channels. But basically all this does, this is just a schema that we created um, that tells ChatGPT when we make a request like this, you're going to trigger a specific webhook and that specific webhook leads to this make automation. So what's happening here? Well, first off, we have the webhook trigger and this webhook trigger passes us two different key points of information from our ChatGPT assistant. So first thing it passes us is the URL of the actual listing that we gave it. And then the second thing is the description of the post that we had it create. So if we go back, to our ChatGPT guy, when we asked it to post this, what it did was it went to this website, it looked at the post, and then it created its own description based on that post. So that description that it creates, as well as the URL, gets sent through this webhook to make.com. Uh, if you're not familiar, make.com is an automation platform where you can set up all your different automations. So that information gets passed into here. Then we have a few different modules can see all these blue modules. These are just collecting the images inside of the URL. So it's collecting the listing images 
And then we have a router here that goes to our different channels. So it's going to post the Facebook page. It's going to post, post to our Instagram and it's going to post to our LinkedIn as well. And it just takes the um, caption that ChatGPT wrote for us and it's going to use that in each one of the posts. So super, super simple. This is just a short and sweet video showing you um, what's possible basically for when you have a new listing and you want to just blast it to all your social media channels. You can check out my other video for how to set up these schemas and these actions in these custom GPTs. You're not just doing this with regular chat GPT, you're doing it with a custom GPT that you're built for yourself. It's trained on your business. So you can see like I have market stats and stuff in here that's specific to my real estate market. Um, and then inside of these instructions, this is like the master prompt telling the ChatGPT assistant what it should be doing. So if we scroll down to where I put the Facebook instructions, it says for posting to my Facebook. Again, I used to just have this only posting to my Facebook, but I wanted to show you how you can blast it to all your social media sites. So I did change it from here, um, but it says from posting to my Facebook, we're gonna use this action. Now this action is this action here which if you click on it is just the schema that we just showed you. So you're gonna use this action and you're gonna need one thing, which is a caption and saying that it has to create the caption for us. If it needs to ask us questions, it can, but it usually doesn't. It just looks at the URL that we give it, creates caption, sends all that info off to make.com and then make.com then gathers the images and then splits off into all these different paths to post to our different social media channels. Now this is just sort of one arm of the entire ChatGPT real estate assistant that you can build inside your ChatGPT account. Um, so if we look here, this is kind of a diagram that I put together showing you what all is possible with one of these ChatGPT agents. So you start off with the trigger, which is your communication. It's what you're saying to ChatGPT. So it can be different instructions, asking for different things, write a blog post, send an email to John Smith, add a meeting to my calendar, whatever it is. From there, it goes into ChatGPT, obviously, that's where you're typing your instructions. And ChatGPT is gonna use its brain to figure out what exactly it needs to do. And if we think of these purple boxes as like individual assistants, that are all in charge of a different thing, ChatGPT is gonna send that job down to one of these assistants. So whether it's an email job that it has to do, it's gonna to go to the email assistant. If it's social media assistant, like the one that we just created, it's gonna do that. Um, CRM, calendar, so on, if you wanna add additional functionality from there, but these are kind of the uh, most common ones, I would say. So it decides what to do with the job that you just asked it to do, sends it to one of these assistants underneath it, and that assistant then takes care of the job from there, All right? So for example, this is the one that we just built. So it goes to the social media assistant. That assistant then says, okay, I gotta post it to Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. And then it starts on the make backend automations that we just showed you. And then you can do very similar things for an email assistant, a CRM assistant to you know look through your CRM. Maybe you wanna say to it, hey, what is John Smith's uh, address of his listing or what's the phone number for this person whatever it is it can search your CRM get that info give it back to you um, so you put all these different actions into your custom assistant that you build inside of ChatGPT and then you basically have your own little personal assistant that you can just type instructions to and it's gonna go out and it's gonna do these things for you um, saving you a lot of time like if you think about if you had that new listing here how long would that take you to upload five photos to Instagram, five photos to Facebook, five photos to LinkedIn, you know, write a post about it, put some hashtags in and post it. Realistically, that's probably gonna take you 45 minutes maybe, half an hour, 45 minutes. Um, and if you're doing that a few times a week, well, that's potentially two, three hours that you'd be saving every week just from having this assistant do it all for you instantly. And it also just takes it off of your to-do list, right? So every time you have a new listing, you have to sort of add that to your to-do list of, okay, now I have to go post. Now you don't have to do it anymore. As soon as the listing's live, you just send the link to ChatGPT and then boom, everything's posted. So I'm sure you can see when you look at an overview like this, 
um, how powerful it can get when you're putting all these different actions into place. And if you can think of it like all these different responsibilities that this one ChatGPT agent has um, and all the things that it can do for you. Now, at the same time, we could also take that new listing that we just made and we could say to ChatGPT, send this email off to all of my buyers and let them know about my new listing. And then it would go into your CRM. It would look at, you know, anyone who's tagged as a buyer, let's say, get their emails and then start sending all of them individual emails showing off your new listing. So it's super, super powerful, saves you a ton of time and also just increases the level of marketing and the amount of reach that you're getting on your listings. So that's it for this video. I know it was a super short one, but short and sweet. Hopefully uh, you got the point. And if you really want to know how to build these specifically inside of ChatGPT, how to do the action schemas and all that, check out my video from a couple videos ago, I think it was, and it'll break down exactly how to do all that. Other than that, I'll see you in the next video.